hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to incrementally scroll on web page until it reaches to the bottom of the page so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in today's video we are going to work with this web page which is speaknamegenerator.com and we are going to scroll to the bottom of the web page incrementally and as soon as it reaches to the bottom of the web page it will stop okay so first of all i will go back to the power automate desktop and from here i will go to browser automation and i will choose launch new chrome as my web page is already open I will use attached to running instance and I would like to attach to the tab using title so I will choose the title in this field I have specified the title of the web page and here the browser instance will be stored in the browser variable now I will click on save The next action that we will use is run javascript function on web page here what we are going to do is we will write a piece of code which will return the offset height of the web page so i will write written document dot body dot offset height and then semicolon so this line of code returns the height of the page including the border and padding of the web page okay the offset height will be stored in the offset height variable i will change the variable name okay now what i will do is i will convert this offset height to number for that i will use convert text to number from here i will choose offset height and then I will choose print so that if it has any space in the beginning or at the end of the offset height then it should trim it and this will be stored in the offset height variable so now it will be available in the numeric data type I will create a variable and I will name this variable as last location and I will initialize it with zero so this variable is going to hold the last location of the scroll bar on the web page the next action will be run javascript function on web page and here again we will write our javascript code i will remove the comments and then i will write written window dot inner height and then plus math dot round and window dot scroll y what this line of code will do is it will give you the inner height of the content of the window okay which will be excluding the border and padding in math dot round it is going to round the value of window dot scroll y 
so window.scroll y is going to give the location of the scroll bar on the web page okay now this will be stored in the page bottom i'll name this variable as page bottom and now i will use convert text to number i will use page bottom dot trimmed i will copy this variable which is page bottom and paste here so now this is going to give the numeric value of it after this i will go to loops from there i will use loop condition loop condition works as a while loop in power automate desktop so i will choose first operand as offset height operator is going to be greater than or equal to page bottom i will click on save and then i will again use run javascript function on web page i will remove the comments and then i will write window dot scroll to and it is going to accept two parameter so first parameter is going to be zero because we want to scroll it vertically and the second parameter is going to be the value of last location variable so i will choose last location so initially the value of it will be zero and then it will start incrementing and put a semicolon click on save now i will take another set variable or what i will do is i will use increase variable i will give the variable name as last location and i want it to increment by 50. you can change this number as per your requirement but for now i have kept it as 50. now what i will do is i will you copy this line number 5 and 6 and paste it below action number 9. so action number 10 it will get the inner height of the page and sum the value with the window dot scroll by and it will be converted to number i will go to conditionals i will take if and from here i will check if page bottom is greater than or equals to offset height in that case i will use exit loop action so the moment page bottom is greater than or equal to offset height then this loop will stop now i will click on run now here you can see that my bot is able to scroll on web page and the moment it reaches to the bottom of the web page bot will stop and here you can see that the bot has stopped because page bottom is same as offset height right now what we will do is we will add some exception handling for that i will go to flow control and from here i will use on block error i will name it as exception handling in the continue flow run i will use go to end of the block and i will click on save 
and I will take this end block and move it to the bottom of the code. Now I will create one more subflow which will be named as exception handling. And here I will use get last error. This action will give me the details of the error. I will click on save. And then I will go to message boxes. From here I will choose display message. I will give the title as exception. And here I will choose the properties of last error. A last error will have action name as a property, error details, location, message, and subflow name. Right? So now I will use action name and I will use location, and the next is going to be message. Right? I will enable this option which is keep message box always on the top. And then I will click on save. Right? I will go to the main and here what I will do is I will try to generate an error. So what I will do is I will change the title of the page which is not open and that is when my bot will not be able to attach to that web page and it will fail and then it is supposed to go to exception handling subflow. I have given this title, I will click on save. And before running, I will go to on block error. And from here, I will click on new rule. And here, I will choose run subflow. And from here, I will choose the subflow as exception handling. So, this is the subflow which is going to be executed when an error occurs in this block. Right? And once that subflow is executed it will go to the end of the block i will click on save and then i will run the flow and as you can see the action number one has failed and here we have got the error details so this is the title which is exception action name is launch new chrome subflow name it has given is in the main subflow action number is 2 and action name is launch new chrome and this is the detailed message about that error which tells that failed to assume control of chrome no chrome window was found with that tab right and i will click on ok the moment i will click on ok my flow execution will go to the bottom of the code as you can see execution has been completed so this is how you can scroll on the web page incrementally until it reaches to the bottom of the web page in power automate desktop so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.